Hey there folks, got a new knife for you. Uh, so this is a new prototype uh, folder from Cody Utzler. Uh, I did one of his uh, earlier models, if you guys uh, follow the channel. And this is his new prototype for his new folder. It's definitely uh, a lot different from the model I reviewed prior to this one. Um, Cody is a young knife maker, I believe he's still only 18, from Missouri. Um, definitely got some amazing skills. So this is just an overview. I just literally just received this about 30 minutes ago. And as I'm looking at it and as I'm reviewing it, it's like, you know what, let me just do a vid on it because uh, I might be too lazy to do one later. But I figure while I'm going over it in my brain, I might as well narrate it for you guys. So this is an open bid on on Cody's uh, Instagram. If you guys don't follow Cody, you should really follow him because I got this for a steal. Uh, it started at $4.50, $25 increments. I think it was only me and two other guys bidding on it. I got it for $5.75. $5.75. Um, I mean, I don't want to... You know, it is a lot of money, of course, uh, for the people that are, you know, that might say that, but not for a custom handmade knife. Uh, there are production um, mid-tech knives that cost that much. So for everything handmade by this young man, and I said it before, if I was to make something, and if I were to make something, it wouldn't be anywhere as awesome as this knife. I would not want to get rid of it. I would not want to sell it at any amount. So it amazes me that knife makers just on the regular, uh, like my friends uh, Ramon and um, Rob Carter, uh, Edison, and his, you know, his, his brother Vic, just make these knives and on the regular, they just let them go. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I could do it. So, all right, let's go over the specs. So this is CPM 154, I believe. Apologize for the motorcycle driving by. It's early. It's noon. Uh, he's got a nice harpoon on the blade. If you follow him, you'll see that this should initially start off as a, a satin blade, which I would have been fine with. But he did this, uh, the uh, this basically this uh, stone wash on it, and it looks amazing. You can see the swedge on the harpoon. It's a thick stock of uh, steel. All right, so let's get to it. So this, I want to just talk about this real quick. This is Zerk. Um, this is a integral radius bolster, which is a titanium on this side, All right? And when you look at it, so he radiused it to to fit the Zerk, and you can see that that's one piece of titanium and he milled it out to accommodate this Zark. Now, I know you guys have seen a few of my knives on my channel, and some of the knives I've shown you have done this, but what they've done in the past, which is, I think, a little bit easier, is they basically make one slab of titanium, inlay in the uh, whatever material they want, and then they inlay another piece of titanium to match it but what you guys see here is just the craftsmanship of this young man and you can see he just took this one piece of titanium milled it out to accommodate this piece of zerk and it matches the thickness of both handles now what you're looking at here is a floating backspacer made of lightning strike i think yeah lightning strike which is pretty cool. I think I have a couple of knives with a floating backspacer. Again, completely handmade. You can see there the flow through design. All right. Um, he also inlaid lightning strike on this pivot. Pretty neat. Just amazing. Uh, the work that this young man is doing, it's just, um, Inc incredibly uh, impressive. Um, so he had also this uh, sculpted pocket clip, right? This is not Zerk, which although I thought initially it was because it looks just like it. This is blackened titanium. It even, I guess because he did like a bead blast on it, it even feels the same as the Zerk. 
So I really thought it was Zerk, but it's not. It's a tie. Look at the lockup. And you can see that he utilizes the thickest stock of titanium. I mean, this is a frame lock, but look how thick that titanium is. Lockup is just below 50%. It is solid. It has a ceramic detent ball. Right? And he's made adjustments on the detent. I want to say, I think the last time I said the detent, crap, I don't remember. My own vids, shame on me. I thought the detent might have been, maybe it was too heavy. I didn't even get to review it. I really should have prepared better. But now the detent is just perfect. Just, just sucks it up. It's just awesome. He got, it's perfected. Yeah, awesome. He even asked me uh, just a few minutes ago. He texted me, what do you think about the detent? I told him it's perfect. It's perfect. Also, he made adjustments to the flipper tab. If you watch my old vid, I'll put the link here. You can see that the flipper tab was rather long. And uh, I made that comment to, to Cody. I said, uh, the, the flipper tab's a little long. And uh, he properly made adjustments to it. And he definitely did because he also put jimping on it. So it's more conducive for push button deployment. And it does fly out. Really awesome. He also made the blade. I believe he made the blade. Oh, maybe it's just because it's a short blade. It is a short knife. I, I, I really should have measured this. Let me see if he has it on the specs on his uh, Instagram. But I, I know I made comment before that his blade was rather thin on the video I did. But this one definitely is more proportionate for this blade. And you can see, uh, let's see. Let me see if he has a size on it. I don't think he has a size on it. I apologize, folks. Uh, I really should have <laughs> measured it, but it's a smaller knife. It's a small knife. Let's see what I got. What I got, what I got, what I got. Ah, uh, my everyday user. Okay, so here's my skyline. Give you guys an idea. So it's about the same length, size as a skyline, my everyday user. Yeah, you guys ask if I use that. Yes, this is my everyday user. This one, what else I got? Right here to open packages. My ZT, so it's about the same size as the ZT. Which model is this? Uh, 566. It's exactly the same size as a 566. All right? So I'll give you guys an idea because the Fanouche did not properly prepare himself and did not measure him. <laughs> yeah. So it has an internal stop pin, which is hidden. Here is the stop pin. So it rides on that crescent shaped milled out piece on the, on the blade steel. Just awesome. I can't believe that's on Zark. That is amazing. Black and titanium. I don't think I've ever seen that. A black and, um, you know, tie. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. Yeah, so pretty awesome. So if you guys don't follow Cody, I'll put the link below. Um, you should follow this young man. This is prototype, so he will be making more of these, or he's probably accepting orders right now. Let me see. Let me see if I don't think I don't even know if he takes books or he just um, if he just uh, yeah books are oh I'm sorry books are over open I mean I'm sorry books are closed this year. Who knows? Maybe he'll open it up for 2016. Uh, again, he, he, he does it by himself. Actually, his brother has joined the knife making business too. So, um, yeah, he does it by himself. Maybe, maybe his brother helps him. I don't know. So that's why it's a custom handmade knife, folks. So definitely uh, a lot more love goes into it than uh, than a mid-tech. So, so check him out. So, oh, it doesn't even have a model name. We don't even know what it's called. He doesn't have a name for it. He's asking me for suggestions. Like, crap, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Just pretty cool. So I was just checking it out and just, I was amazed by the work by this, this young, young person. He's definitely got a great, great future. <clears throat> All right. I don't want to belabor it. It's just pretty awesome, man. I'm happy I got this. On the open bid. Alright folks, so that's from Mutual Knives. Check them out. Peace.